the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Father. Today is Tuesday, in the 14th week of Ordinary Time. Ordinary time means kingdom of God time. It's the time where God's kingdom reigns in our life, where God's will is done in our life, we live it out, and so that we can prepare our hearts for Jesus to really rule in our hearts and in our minds. Let us call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who in the abasement of your Son have raised up a fallen world, fill your faithful with holy joy. For on those you have rescued from the slavery to the sin, you bestow eternal gladness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Hosea. Thus says the Lord, they made kings in Israel, but not by my authority. They established princes, but without my approval. With their silver and gold, they made idols for themselves, to their own destruction. Cast away your calf, O Samaria, my wrath is kindled against them. How long will they be unable to attain innocence in Israel? The work of an artisan, no God at all, destined for the flames, such is the calf of Samaria. When they sow the wind, they shall reap the whirlwind. The stalk of grain that forms no ear can yield no flower. Even if it could, strangers would swallow it. When Ephraim made many altars to expiate sin, his altars became occasions of sin. Though I write for him my many ordinances, they are considered as the strangers. Though they offer sacrifice, immolate flesh, and eat it, the Lord is not pleased with them. He shall still remember their guilt and punish their sins. They shall return to Egypt. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to be God. God. The house of Israel trusts in the Lord. Our God is in heaven. Whatever he wills, he does. Their idols are silver and gold, their handiwork of men. The house of Israel trusts in the Lord. They have mouths, but speak not. They have eyes, but see not. They have ears, but hear not. They have noses, but smell not. The house of Israel trusts in the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. I am the good shepherd, says the Lord. I know my sheep, and mine know me. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Lord, be in our minds and our lips and in our hearts. A demoniac who could not speak was brought to Jesus. And when the demon was driven out, the mute man spoke. The crowds were amazed and said, Nothing like this has ever been seen in Israel. But the Pharisees said, He drives out demons by the prince of demons. Jesus went around to all the towns and villages, teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming the gospel of the kingdom, and curing every disease and illness. At the sight of the crowds, his heart was moved for pity with, with them, with pity for them, because they were troubled and abandoned, like sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, The harvest is abundant, but the laborers are few. So ask the master of the harvest to send out laborers for this harvest. 
the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I was listening to Sunday do the first reading, and it reminded me of our gospel this last Sunday, where Jesus tells us to be yoked to Jesus because that will set us free. His yoke is easy and light, but the yoke of this world is so hard, and it always seems to work against us. In the Old Testament reading in Hosea, it looked like the people were trying to yoke up with the world. They were trying to hitch their wagon to the horse of this world, and they found out that horse has no legs. It's going nowhere. He says, he has king. We, they, they decided to hook up to the world and make kings, and God says, I wasn't doing that. And with their gold and silver, they were doing things and buying idols. And God said, I wasn't in that. And they were, were trying to build altars so they could expiate their sins. And God's like, I wasn't in that either. And nothing they're doing is going to come to any good. Sometimes it seems like that for us. Jesus took the other way. Instead of using the things of the world, Jesus said, you know, I don't even have a place to lay my head. Foxes have uh, dens or, uh, you know, holes in the grounds, but the Son of Man's got nowhere to lay his head. And so Jesus, who hitched his wagon, so to speak, just to his heavenly Father, we could say more accurately, to the Holy Spirit. Jesus cast out demons by the power of the Holy Spirit that was in him. He went out into the desert to overcome the devil because the Holy Spirit drove him out into the desert. He was able to set people free because the Holy Spirit was at work in him, doing good, healing all who were oppressed of the devil. And so it's the Holy Spirit by which he healed this demoniac, and the Pharisees did the worst sin of all. They attributed the work of the Holy Spirit to the prince of demons. They said it's Satan who's working in him to cast out these demons, and Jesus lets us know a kingdom against itself can't stand. And so let's look at everyone in our world and how the Holy Spirit is working through them and bringing good about in our world before we judge anyone and make the same horrible sin the Pharisees did and attribute some work that God's doing in our world uh, to the enemy, to the devil. And let's also invite the Holy Spirit and say, just like Jesus was led by the Holy Spirit, we know Romans says, these are sons and daughters of God, those people who are led by the Holy Spirit. They're the sons and daughters of God. Let's truly imitate Jesus and walk by the Holy Spirit. Everything we do, uh, let the Holy Spirit guide us. That's truly walking in the way of Christ. And what a wonderful way to walk and what a wonderful faith we have. And the intention of today's Mass is Geraldine Rosner. Let us offer our prayers to God. Loving Heavenly Father, we pray for our church that we might uh, truly let go of all the things of this world so that we can fully be the kingdom of God. We can truly be the church, radiant in glory. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for our world that it might look to the light of Christ and find in him true peace, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for our Holy Redeemer, our wonderful parish, that she might be blessed even in these times. Find peace in Jesus Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are not in peace, those who are afflicted in any way, suffering, that they might be healed, that they might be set free by Jesus Christ, the great physician, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for those who have died, that they might see the face of God this day. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for those who grieve for any reason, for the, those who have lost. Lord, let them gain even more of you and let them have true peace and true joy. Even in their grief, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for Geraldine Rosner. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we bring all these prayers to you, our loving Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. 
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine, work of human hands. It will become our spiritual dream. Lord, we ask you to receive us, to be pleased with the sacrifice we offer in humble and contrite hearts. Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me from my sins. And now pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church. May this oblation dedicated to your name purify us, O Lord, and day by day bring our conduct closer to the life of heaven through Christ our Lord. <clears throat> the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. And lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Holy Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory, as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks and praise he gave the chalice to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eter eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Earl, our Bishop, and all our clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. 
Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, Dona nobis pacem. Lord Jesus Christ, we pray that you have mercy on your body. Lord, not in the condemnation, but help the mind of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Only say the word, so shall be healed. And let's pray together. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire you in my soul. Since I cannot now physically receive you at this moment, come spiritually into my heart. You are already there. I embrace you and unite myself wholly to you. Do not let me ever be separated from you. Amen. Body and blood, Lord Jesus Christ, can you see? I'm sorry when I've just gone through the motion. I'm sorry when I've just sang another song. Take me back to where we started. I open up my heart to you. And I'm sorry. I've come with my agenda I'm sorry I forgot that you're enough Take me back to where we start I open up my heart to you I just want you Nothing else Nothing else, nothing else will do. I just want you, and 
nothing else And nothing else And nothing else will do I just want you And nothing else And nothing else And nothing else will do I just want you And nothing else Let us pray. Grant we pray, O Lord, that having been replenished by such great gifts, we may gain the prize of salvation and never cease to praise you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in the peace of Christ to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.